Wedding guests included couples three children Arlo, six, Wolf, four, and 21-month-old daughter Marvel May, along with Carol's daughter Emily Rose, 12, and Lucas, 11, from a previous relationship. The out-of-contract footballer appears to have been forgiven by the bride after passing out in bed with two women during his raucous stag do in Dubai. They chose a traditional all-white theme for their lavish wedding ceremony at the Five Star Hotel, and exchanged vows surrounded by displays of white roses during the ceremony. The couple, who share three children, tied the knot at the Four Seasons Hotel in Hampshire on Sunday afternoon following a week of uncertainty surrounding their relationship. Billy Mucklow and Andy Carroll finally married in a Hampshire hotel wedding on Sunday, just days after the football as raucous antics in Dubai left the future of their relationship clouded in uncertainty. The couple tied the knot at 3 p.m. at Hampshire's five-star Four Seasons Hotel after a tumultuous build-up which saw drama erupt when photos emerged of the sportsman passed out in bed with two women during his stag do. Sharing a first image of the newly married couple as man and wife later that evening, former England international Andy confirmed he was out of the doghouse, if indeed he was ever in it, by holding former TOWIE cast member Billy in a passionate embrace. The bride wore a classic white lace bridal gown and train, while the groom opted for an appropriately smart black dress suit, crisp white shirt and tie as they shared a kiss in front of a stunning floral backdrop. Moments earlier there was a ripple of knowing laughter as the registrar asked guests well aware of Andy's recent Dubai fiasco if there were any objections to the marriage. A source told The Sun, they were emotional when they saw each other, but the atmosphere totally changed when the registrar asked if anyone present knew why they should not be married. Everyone started laughing really loud and Billy and Andy joined in, it broke the ice in what's been a hard build-up to the wedding for Billy. It changed the tone and when they were announced man and wife, the cheers were deafening. Earlier that day guests ensured Billy's dress was hidden from view by shielding her with umbrellas as she made her way inside the luxurious venue ahead of exchanging vows with her long-term partner. In pictures from their happy day, the newlyweds were spotted as wedding guests prepared to continue the celebrations at the reception. The bridesmaids, carrying pristine white bouquets, looked stunning in matching baby pink dresses, which boasted frills and a flattering V-neckline. Other guests remained with this color theme, as two sported fuchsia headpieces and had splashes of pink in their finery. The bride and groom chose a traditional all-white theme for their lavish wedding ceremony at the Five Star Hotel, and exchanged vows surrounded by displays of white roses during the ceremony, which took place in a spectacular 16th-century walled garden. Even the persistent drizzle didn't put a dampener on the occasion after organizers hastily put up a white gazebo to keep all the guests dry during the ceremony. The ceremony began with live music as a singer paid a romantic tribute to the couple. Billy, 34, and Andy, 33, then exchanged wedding vows in the intimate setting. Rows and rows of bottles of £100 champagne were discreetly lined up on trestle tables behind a tall hedge as cheers rang out from the congregation when the happy couple were declared man and wife. Just days ago it seemed touch and go as to whether the long-planned event would take place after the former England striker ended up in bed with two blondes following a 17-hour drinking session during his stag do in Dubai. Former TOWIE star Bill fled from the couple's home and took refuge at her parents' house and removed her £200,000 engagement ring in the run-up to the big day. Among the guests were the couple's three children Arlo, six, Wolf, four, and 21-month-old daughter Marvel May, along with Carol's daughter Emily Rose, 12, and Lucas, 11, from a previous relationship. Emily Rose served as one of Billy's bridesmaids for the occasion. The hotel, set in 500 acres of rolling countryside, provided a quintessentially British location for the event which coincided with the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration. 
The property was once owned by Henry VIII and his first wife Catherine of Aragon stayed there when she first arrived in Britain from Spain in 1501. The hotel has 133 rooms which start at around £600 a night while the top-rated royal suite costs a whopping £6,000. Earlier in the day a floral display for Billy and Andy's wedding was set up on Sunday morning ahead of the couple's weekend wedding at the Four Seasons Hotel in Hampshire. A large marquee has been set up on the grounds of the hotel ahead of the ceremony while workmen were seen arranging flowers nearby. Dozens of white roses were placed near the marquee while workmen were also seen hoisting up several angels' breath plants. A walkway was covered in a grey sheet ahead of the ceremony with plants placed on either side. The couple arrived together at the luxury five-star hotel on Saturday as staff have been busy setting up an outdoor aisle, where the pair they will tie the knot. They looked relaxed as they dropped their Porsche 4x4 car off at valet parking before heading off to separate rooms for the night before their wedding. Andy, clad in a cap and zip jumper, flashed a wide smile for the cameras as he headed into the venue. Meanwhile, Billy framed her face with black large sunglasses and donned a white shirt, with onlookers attempting to steal a glimpse of her bridal gown as it was wheeled into the hotel. She was accompanied by her brother Sam, mother Paula and sister Georgie. Andy quickly made the most of the facilities at their secluded country retreat as he headed off to the hotel's indoor family swimming pool, according to onlookers. He was seen having a splashing time with a couple of pals as he relaxed ahead of his impending nuptials. An onlooker said, he looked very chilled out and relaxed, he certainly doesn't seem to be having any last-minute nerves or anything like that. Mr. Carroll and his guests all seemed to be enjoying themselves. Staff were busy preparing for tomorrow's big event with brightly colored bouquets of flowers being lined up ready for the celebration. Rows of gold chairs were set up in a luxurious garden on either side of a raised white aisle, where Andy and Billy will tie the knot in an outdoor ceremony. Huge event trucks from the big events Marquis County were also seen drawing up to the lavish hotel as preparations for the big day gathered pace. Up to 200 guests are expected to attend the lavish event with the hotel closed to visitors for the weekend. The hotel has 133 rooms which start at around £600 a night while the top-rated royal suite costs a whopping £6,000. Organizers promised to make the couple's dream wedding come to life with five elegant event rooms and a variety of magical outdoor venues to help celebrate the historic beauty and natural wonder of the 500-acre estate. It comes after Andy reportedly banned his groomsmen from making three-in-a-bed jokes at his wedding to Billy after his stagger antics. She was said to be struggling over their impending wedding day after Andy was pictured asleep next to a blonde barmaid, and it was revealed he had also slept beside a second woman on his stag do. Andy has warned his groomsmen that there are to be no jokes about Dubai, let alone any talk of the stag at the wedding, a source told The Sun. Billy is still quietly fuming about everything that went on and Shush has warned Andy that he should do everything not to ruin their big day. Earlier this week, Billy broke cover for the first time since the Dubai stagged her and was seen without her £200,000 engagement ring. She was joined by her mother Paula, who has been at her side since the news of her husband to best holiday exploits broke last week, as she moved out of her £5 million family home to live with her parents to do some soul-searching. The mother, who shares three children with Andy, kept a Loki figure in a black outfit and sunglasses as she stepped out following the scandal. 
Billy, who normally sports a huge diamond ring on her wedding finger, was without the sparkler as she visited a Boots pharmacy near her home. On Tuesday, the former TV personality told staff at the bridal store where she purchased her wedding dress that she doesn't want to get married but will tie the knot with Andy. She revealed their nuptials would go ahead as planned, conceding it's too late to cancel with so many commitments in place including travel and accommodation arrangements for their 200 guests attending the lavish bash. She received her wedding gown from London bridal shop Brown's Bride after having it careered on Tuesday following the footballers three in bed shame. Mail Online revealed last week that Billy branded her fiancé an idiot after he was pictured in bed with bar manager Taylor Jane Wilkney during his stag do. The couple had announced their engagement in November 2014, after Andy popped the question during a romantic mini-break in Rome, Italy. It's understood that Billy is demanding Andy hand over everything in relation to the pictures before their wedding. A friend said, it's the only way she can move on, however bad it is. Earlier this month, Billy and her pals jetted to Dubai for her hend, which was gate crashed by her fiancé after he arrived in the UAE towards the end of her girl's trip. The delighted wife-to-be shared a happy snap of the pair as they enjoyed dinner, while renaming her hen party a Sten Du. But just days later, Andy was pictured sleeping next to bar manager Taylor, which followed on from the Sten celebrations. Photographs showed the recently released West Brom forward passed out on a bed beside the 27-year-old bar manager. Other snaps showed Taylor wearing the father of five's personalized bathrobe with Andy Carroll embroidered on the chest. Taylor, who says the pictures were leaked on Snapchat after she sent them to her friends back in the UK, insists nothing sexual happened with the 6 feet 4 inches forward. It was all just a bit of entirely innocent fun. Taylor detailed the boozy night with the striker and claimed that she and her pals were not told Andy was on his stag do. She told The Sun, at no point did anyone mention it was a stag do, we were told it was a lad's holiday, I didn't know he was getting married. Taylor, who works in Dubai as a bar manager at a high-end hotel, described her time with Carol as really boozy and said the striker was steaming drunk. Reflecting on the night, Taylor said they arrived at the Avenue Dubai, a nightclub in the Shangri-La Hotel, at around 1 a.m. and headed to the VIP area, where Andy had booked a table, before later heading back to Andy's hotel for an after-party. She said they all had shots of Grey Goose vodka before Andy danced around with underwear on his head, while one of his friends fell off a chair and threw a false wall. I remember Andy dancing around with the waistband from a pair of Calvin Kleins on his head and the DJ kept giving him a shout-out, she added. The wild bender saw Andy and his friends spend around £30,000, where Andy drunk at least 20 rounds of vodka, 10 glasses of sangria, and 10 shots of Jägermeister and Grey Goose vodka. But Taylor insisted that the night was just innocent fun and apologized to Andy's fiancé Billy for the mess. However friends of Billy told the paper the pictures were embarrassing so close to their wedding, which is set to take place in just two weeks after an eight-year engagement. With his towering frame, Andy had already established himself as a talented striker for boyhood club Newcastle United before confirming his relationship with TV personality Billy in 2014. She found fame on The Only Way is Essex in 2011, but quit reality TV two years later to run a Bikram yoga studio in Essex. Billy started dating the Geordie footballer in the summer of 2013 but they kept their relationship under wraps until the following February. 
they welcomed the first of their two children together, son Arlo, now six, in June 2015, with the couple confirming the news on social media shortly afterwards. Their son Wolf, arrived two years later in November 2017, making Andy, already a parent to daughter Emily, 11, and son Lucas, 9, from a past relationship, a father of four.